No, not that I didn't do anything. Um, you know, um, I know they did some stuff yesterday, just rest work-wise, and today was a scheduled day off. So. Okay. Uh, how does that set up? Is he at a point where it's still practice? Is he potentially available for you tomorrow, or you're still looking at? Oh, he's not available tomorrow, but he's available soon. We hope so. It went great. Okay. Yeah, yeah. He's he's progressing. Them keep saying it, but you can ask as many questions you want. It's not going to make him come back faster. Sure. <laughs> so, uh, and I know that you're, as you say, you stay out of the room and they tell you when. But I mean, coming up again, you're hitting at another stretch of a bunch of games and a bunch of days. You're on the road. So again, it, but that doesn't matter for, for when the guy's coming back or not. When he's back and ready, he's going to play. Doesn't matter. We have five in a row. You know, he won't play them all five, but he'll play. So, he was good. Everybody was good today. I don't think anyone other than Chris had a scheduled day. I think everybody else was good for practice. Um, after a pretty regular stretch, like <clears throat> pretty regular stretch of games, like yeah. how good did it, I guess, maybe feel for your guys to get a couple days off? Yeah, they it was good. Much, yeah, they probably ate too much. And, you know, you always, as a coach, we look at days off differently. Like when I saw the schedule and said, oh, yeah, we get our three days off with, with Thanksgiving in the middle. You know, I looked at it. I don't know if I looked at it as a positive or not, um, but we still needed it. And and I think what was more important that Giannis had six days off. You know, that's huge. I don't know if I, my math is right, but in that area, that's a huge stretch for him in the middle of the season or beginning of the season. So that should help his body as well. So there was no. I remember at the time <clears throat> it was breaking, or you were told as you came in. I mean, so there was no. There's no like immediate concern with like, no swelling no. In. No, I mean, with the body, it's always concerned, but, yeah. Um, I guess just for you guys, uh, you know, we talked to some of the players after the game, like, you start slow, and then you fought your way back to 500. Um, and Dave was like, this isn't an accomplishment. This no, I, it's stop. funny. And that one guy even thought, it like, we know where we, we're going to be, um, and we know we're not there. So we can win 10 in a row. It won't face us at all. We believe we're a good team. Um, and we just got to keep doing it, and, and we got to keep getting better. So that's our deal. Process-wise, where do you feel like you guys are? Like, you know, it's a good question. I don't know the answer. Uh, I haven't looked at it in that way yet. Um, I like where we're at uh, opposed, uh, compared to early in the year. Uh, you know, the last 10 games, I think our defense top six or seven, maybe top five. Our uh, offense has been humming. You know, ball's moving, playing the right way. Our, our shot uh, charts look good now. So there's a lot of good things. What do you think has made the defense better during this stretch? I just think it, it was going to take time. We, we made some changes to it. Uh, we had to make some uh, changes ourselves to whether, you know, doing stuff and not liking stuff and, and tweaking it a little bit. Uh, I think our bigs really enjoy being in the paint as much as possible. I think our guards had to get used to, to guarding the ball more, being outside the paint. I think it's starting to happen. Well, just defense, number one. Our defense, um, when we play good defense, we're an incredible offensive team because, you know, when we get stops and, and more stops in a row, that means Giannis gets the ball in transition and he sets everybody up. So it just makes us so much better. Uh, you, throughout this, you've had injuries and what, different rotation type things. <clears throat> As this is going on, do you want to settle on a, a rotation or do you like the fact that You've been able to pick and choose matchups or hot hands. And you've yeah, it depends on your team. I mean, I think every coach would probably say, if I could have nine guys and close my eyes, and every night that's the nine guys. Uh, and I think I, I prescribe to that. But if that's not who we are, it doesn't bother me. Like us picking and choosing game to game who plays, I'm fine with that. As long as our guys can handle it. And so far, they've shown they can. Yeah. Um, I'm curious for you as a coach, like, do you see those moments and think, like, man, we got to find a way to get that No, I don't, because that's impossible. I, I don't think yeah. people understand that. It was, remember I had the big three in Boston, and Ray Allen was scoring 18 a night. And they were like, well, why is he scoring 28 a night? And I was like, well, because Paul Pierce and Kevin Garnett's on the team too now, you know. And so Dame has – there's no way, right? But we still want him to be dominant Dame just in a different way. And I think he's doing that. Oh, I mean, we're 
year plus into this with with him. How how, um, how difficult is that really that maybe isn't quite understood in terms of? Like, I, I don't think that's ever understood. I don't even try to, to explain it. I really don't because you read it every day. Um, a, a guy goes to a different team where there's four stars and. He's not a productive. Last year, he averaged 30. And I said, you know, last year, he was the only guy that, that shot the ball. You know, and so it's just it's an argument that you can't win, and I don't even try. Is a way kind of for him to still be a dominant game just in his passing ability? Just, the way he just in, in, in his play. Like, uh, he's such a threat. He can create more scoring than he's ever created in his life. Uh, and that may come off of scoring, but that may come off of passing as well. He's never had the teammates. You know, he's never had a Giannis next to him, uh, a, a Brook that shoots threes from at the five spot. So he has so many more tools. Uh, but he also has less opportunity um, because Giannis has the ball too. And so you cut his touches in half, there's no way he's going to be the same as, as before. But that doesn't mean he's not better in this version. I actually would prefer him the way he's playing now. I think he's playing winning basketball, and that's more important to me. Yeah. 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 The, all of them are good for us, you know, and we haven't guarded them as well as I like, uh, clearly. Um, the hero one wasn't guarded poorly, but we did mess up a switch. Um, the last one we messed we just, it wasn't a switch, we just stopped for whatever reason. So you watch them on film, uh, you learn a lot. You learn who should be on the floor, you know, who can you trust. Uh, who understands switching better, and we're going to keep getting better at it. But we need work there for sure. Um, as we've talked about rotation changes and stuff like that, is that a part of the challenge? Like maybe guys haven't been on the floor together or communicated switches? Or yeah, I, I think it could be, but I honestly think defensively switches are switches, and we just got to communicate them better. Uh, we worked on them today, uh, did a pretty good job. Thank you.